About a month ago, I uploaded a short which showed how anyone can make a USB extender out of a UDP network cable. Some of my viewers doubted the cable was functional. Some think it would only connect in USB 1 mode. Others believe length should not exceed 5 meters. Plus, a 7 meters long cable must demonstrate substantial voltage drop, which means USB devices would be underpowered and would fail to initialize. Especially for those who doubt, I decided to make another video. I will be connecting a USB flash drive Sandy's Cruiser and a Transcend card reader to my laptop. First, I'll connect them directly, then via my cable, and then through an off-the-shelf 3 meters USB extender. I will use a USB tester to measure voltage drop and an actual data transfer speed. This is Ron Martino. First, let us check whether our test subjects are actually detected as USB 2 devices. We'll use a freeware utility called USB DeView to do it. First, I'm going to plug in the card reader with an SD card directly into my laptop. We can see the device list refresh with a new item called Generic Storage Device. USB version is 2.0. Now let's see how it's detected via my extender. Same, USB 2.0. Now the SanDisk flash drive. USB 2.0. But that's not enough. A device can be detected fine, but fail during data transfer. That's typical behavior of lower quality USB cables. So we'll try to copy a file. And while I plug the flash drive directly, I'll measure the voltage. It's about 5.12 volts. Data transfer speed is about 22 megs per second. Now let's use the extender. Allow me to demonstrate length again using meter marks. 2754 meters on this side and 2760 meters plus 1 meter on the opposite side. No cheating. Copying the file. It's 22 megs per second. What about the voltage? It's 5.09 volts. We lost three hundreds of a volt. It's nothing. Mind you, it's a 7 meters long cable with a load attached. OK, now the card reader. Plugging into the laptop directly. Let's try to write onto the flash drive. Average speed is about 16 megs per second, which drops slightly in the process. Now reading the flash. It's 32 megs per second. Now we use the extender. Reading. It's the same. 32 megs per second. Now writing. The same 16 max per second. Obviously, it's the flash drive that's a bottleneck, not the cable. Now let's see how this 3 meter no name extender performs. 1, 2, 3 meters. First, we'll attach the card reader. Reading. 32 megs per second. It's good. Writing. 16 megs per second. Voltage is 4.98 volts. So the 3 meters factory manufactured cable demonstrates larger voltage drop than a homemade 7 meter cable. But the 3 meters cable follows USB specifications. Now let's try the SanDisk flash drive. Oops! What happened? It was detected and then failed right away. Let's reattach it. Copying a file. Looks like it's working. Reading the flash. It's OK. Now writing. 
looks like it's lagging. Average transfer speed is about 6 megs per second. Let's try writing once again. Failed. Probably the flash drive is underpowered and loses connection to the USB host. Failed to detect again. This is typical for a no-name extender. It looks like the USB flash stopped detecting. It's not working at all. How about our extender? It's good. 3 meter cable one more time. Nope. Looks like the cable got tired. Just kidding. Apparently, the no-name cable works on the edge. In other words, the slightest change in the voltage of the USB port or some other factors affect its operation. I think the advantages of the UDB cable are obvious, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'd appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like dropping me some Bitcoin or Ether, my wallet numbers can be found in the description section. And of course, I will be making another video about USB 3 UDP extender. That's all for today. This was Ramutenau. Take care.